if you're looking for another stealthy class setup, well, I got I got a nice video here for you. Not only are we going to go into the class, but we're going to go and how to use it because that's probably more important than the class itself. You can use the class, but if you don't use it properly, you ain't going to win the game. Quick note, I do have a stealthy sniper video already. And that did that video actually real quick. The video did really well. I'm very happy because, you know, make a video and people actually watch it and enjoy it. That's a very good feeling for me, but also I guess it's a good feeling for you guys because you actually watched the video and it gave you some sort of value, either entertainment or educational. So this class is different from the other one. The other one uses the HDR. To me, it was very punishing if you didn't get, if you didn't land your shot. I don't know, to me, it wasn't that fun. Like, sure, it was fun to be like a stealthy boy, but I was looking for something a little more speedy and aggressive. Something I could, you know, the HDR, you can't run around with it. You ain't gonna do nothing running around with that. However, this class, I don't know if you guys can check it out. You can probably see it right now on the screen. You can also see a like, good operator I got, boys. I finally assassinated 25 people, so I know I got that guy. He's cool. We're gonna be using the EBR. I want to go into my decision making why I chose that weapon. I was gonna make this video like a week ago, but I didn't have enough like clips and stuff, but. People are actually using this now. Dr. Lupo was using something like this, and I think Tim the Tatman was using this. So they're actually like, this is actually like a viable class now. However, we're gonna go into the more stealthy side of it. We're gonna like play style wise. So let's, let's, uh, let's get into it. So it is the class for the sniper. You may be thinking, hey, this ain't really a sniper, bro. It's basically a sniper. The Marksman rifles are snipers as well. And my decision for using the EBR was. I didn't want to use this because it's in the other class, it's the playstyle. I didn't want to use this because it's kind of like a bolt action too. The car also was kind of bolt action. My three main choices were the carbine, that, and the EBR, and the dragon off. This carbine, I just can't use it. I am so bad with this gun, but I thought this would be the one that I would pick. Nah, bro. Dragon off was the next, but I think that the EBR does everything the dragon off does just better. So that's how I ended up EBR. It just felt good using it felt it felt like yeah yeah i'm using ebr you know also i don't know that doesn't look like a stealthy kind of weapon you know if you're being a stealthy boy you got to be rocking this one so now let's go into the attachments that's that's the one thing everybody wants to actually see the most important attachment is we got this cute anime looking charm you gotta have it it's uh it's just how it is bro so i should probably if you're trying to be stealthy you probably take it off however this is probably not hindering anything all right that's the actual important stuff the suppressor that's obvious you, you don't you don't have the suppressor you ain't gonna win the game barrel you just go with this one because if, if you if you don't have this one just go with this one the only thing this is it gives you is just two inches longer so that means it does more damage or something if you got this one slap it on if not just put this one this one doesn't help you at all for the optic, here, this is important. Similar to the other video, you can't have none of this glint stuff. But here's the thing, I actually figured this out. This is probably the best scope ever. So what you gotta do is, what am I rocking? I'm rocking this ACOG, right? You probably think 3.25 ACOG. Now you probably think, hey, ACOG's trash, and you're right. But check this out. Go to here, reticle, look at that. I got a sniper scope on my reticle. I spent all day the other day just trying to get this reticle. Retic reticle? So what you gotta do is here's thing. If you want the best sniper scope that doesn't give you the glint and it still looks like a sniper scope and it's got the same feel, this is probably no, this is probably it. Here's what you gotta do though, you gotta sacrifice your soul. You gotta get 200 kills with this. This uh ACOG, whatever site. And then you get this one. This one's actually not bad to be honest. I use this a lot. Not a lot. I use it a good amount. Now to get the next one, you gotta get 50 headshots with this. That's a little harder. However, if you, or here's the thing. I did actually did this in like only like maybe 10 games, not 10, like five games. If you put like this reticle on and use the EBR and you go into just a normal core match and you, you practice your headshots with the EBR, it's a, it's a one shot to the head no matter what. So not only you're practicing using the EBR, but you're also getting the, getting your, your way to, to the actual cool retic yeah, reticule. And then you gotta slap on this other site and you just slap on this other ACOG site to get the remaining 200 kills to get that reticle. I think it's, it was, I think it's worth it. It's, it's really nice. It doesn't make you... Not only is it like the feeling of using it, but it's also just, it's a cool and probably the most accurate reticule reticle. I guess the main thing is, do you want the 3.0 or the 3.25? I personally like this site just because it takes up less room on the screen. For the stock, we got this one, the last one. I know we got you gotta level up again a lot. However, this gives you, look at that. That gives you all the stats you need. I was using the chassis pro for most of my gameplay because I didn't even have this unlocked. But once you get unlocked, hey, slap it on. Then I got 20 round mag. The underbarrel, you, if you don't want to use the, you kind of need the mag though. It's so important. The perks, I uh, don't think you need anything. Underbarrel, you can probably go for one of these like recoil stabilization things, but 
for me this is my build i actually i can't get the red tiger yet i'm so close look at that oh wait a minute oh i do have a tiger Ooh, when did i get that okay okay i'll put it on not very stealthy but awesome my favorite camo yeah customize that all you want but that's definitely not stealthy so there we go now it's stealthy no all right there we go now it's stealthy the charm i gotta put some sort of anime thing anime thing on it you know let's get a chibi machine gunner yeah get in there chibi one thing to note about this gun we'll get to more in a little bit but it's the, you gotta know the play style like again we're, we're rocking this this acog three time scope so our range is gonna be limited also this is never really a one shot it's mostly a bah, 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 probably a three it's like a feel good you know you're sitting there you're bah, bah, bah. It's a, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta play it, you gotta play it right. I mean, I'm not a god player at all, but I'm just talking about it, you know? Yeah, they just slap a pistol on. I I know you guys are probably thinking, hey, you love the deagle, right? And that you right, I do love the deagle. But here's the thing. The deagle sometimes lets me down. So now I'm rocking some other pistol. This one's probably one of my favorite. As long as you got the suppressor on, you're good. Just slap on whatever attachments you think you need. Now, perks, this isn't really debatable. Cold-blooded ghost, you gotta have it. It's, it's just obvious. Now this, here's where it gets tricky. Amped, ooh, this is my favorite. I love the swap, but tune up reduce revive time at 25%. I didn't know that. So, if you're playing with your boys, you probably get in there. But here's the thing this play style, you're not gonna be with your boys, you're gonna be you're gonna be the, the overwatch guy. You're gonna be like, Yeah, I'm looking at your boys, hey, hey, recon, pa pa, something like that. Really, um, so I'm more of the amped guy for the claymore. Now, for the lethal, I got the claymore. I it's more of like not to kill, it's more of I'm gonna put it in your this area. This way, if, if someone comes, I got I got intelligence of where they are. Harpy sensor is kind of obvious, it's just what you do, but you can probably put on... I was actually thinking of smoke, because what if you're in an open field, or what if you gotta get somewhere else, right? Pop the smoke, you go ha ha ha, you're running, you're hiding, that's uh... That could be effective, however I think the one time or two time use of the harpy sensor does not outweigh the unlimited use of the harpy sensor. The one or two time use of the smoke doesn't outweigh the unlimited use of the harpy sensor. So that's the class setup, it's kind of fairly straightforward. Now, let's go into, I guess, two ways you could play the class, but it's more of, um, I mean, obviously, if you want to play it however you want, it doesn't matter, but this is how I would play it and how I do play it. You know, if you're playing with squads, you're going to be that Overwatch guy, right? You're going to be like 100 meters, not 100, maybe like 50 meters to some angle of them, you know, you're going to be watching them back in the mob being a sneaky boy because you know they might not have cold blooded or ghosts and you don't want them revealing your position as a sneaky boy you're gonna take pop shots and stuff that's why i like this class more than the other one because the other one if you miss your, you miss your hdr shot boom you just you no know, damage but this one you go bah, 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 bah. you can start binging you can hit some targets this way so this one's this class is probably much better for squads just because you can do more consistent like damage as opposed to just if you miss or oh, you're done you, you, your team might be dead by then but pop shots if they hit the target you know bah, bah, bah. if you're playing solo it doesn't really matter uh, you could just play sneaky sniper you could be whatever the hell you want it doesn't, doesn't matter you, you hide in the bush go bah, bah, bah. but yeah you're just still gonna want to stay concealed stay to you know parts of the map that are gonna have a lot of terrain you don't want to go up in buildings <laughs> what do you mean you're in a building bro are you gonna win a lot with the class probably not but if i had to make a guess this would be a class you'd win more with than the other sniper class just because of in the other class if someone's shooting at you you will never kill them because you're flinching like ah but for this one you got you take like more shots you know this class is pretty cool i gotta use it more it's hard you know when i'm playing like if i'm playing with my boys like it's like what am i gonna do this class or just play the game normally but like it's like ah, i want to do it but it's like if i die they're like oh you didn't know yeah so this is what I'm hinting hinting at I got a Discord below. If you're trying to, if you're trying to do a squad of stealthy snipers, oh, that'd be pretty cool actually. Because now they got four people in the game, me, three other people, or actually or anyone actually. Yeah, that'd be that'd be fun. If you guys want to hop in, play some play some squads, play some stealthy boy sniper. If we could find some time, that'd be nice. Been pretty busy lately, but we always make time, baby. It's 24 hours in a day. We we skip sleep and eating, I guess. Thank you. Matane, bro. Oh, load out drop. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I was so distracted. Yo.